sorry bending over to pick up the mic every time, but I opted not to put the mic stand out here. I think that's kind of distracting. Wouldn't be a band concert without a Sousa March. And we picked one that has a Spanish influence, the Picador. Uh, this is a group of six people who go out at the bullfight and entice the bull. And their name of those people would be the quadrilla, which uh, doesn't make any sense, but uh, they're the ones at the bullfight. Susan wrote this march in 1889, so it's one of his earlier marches, keeping in mind that Stars and Stripes was about seven or eight years later. So he wrote this in honor of the bullfights. However, years later, he actually went to a bullfight, and he thought it was disgusting and wished he'd never named the march that, but it was all already out there, published, being played, and it does have a, a Spanish influence to it. So this is a... a Traditional suits of march about a Spanish theme. So uh, close your eyes and try not to think about a bullfight. <laughs> and we'll fight the bull up here. After this, we'll take about a 10 minute break to refresh ourselves and come back, and uh, you'll really enjoy the same.
We're just tuning. That's not the next piece on the concert. Okay, the next piece. The next piece is called Ensenada. Now, Ensenada is a town in Mexico on the west coast near Acapulco. It's on the Baja Peninsula. And it was written by a fellow named Joseph Alavadati. Now, a little history on him. He's not uh, Spanish, but I think we can call him Latin because he came from Italy. He was born in Italy in 1893 and uh, moved to America when he was a child and lived until 1977. He was an oboe player, played the oboe. We don't have an oboe here today. Carl's uh, on a trip. But the oboe is a double reed instrument similar to a clarinet. He played that. He played in municipal, band, municipal bands under Harold Bachman. They called him Colonel Harold Bachman. He later went on to the University of Florida. He was the band director for a while. And uh, emeritus, band, emeritus, band director emeritus, and uh, uh, a good friend of Florida bands. He played in his municipal band, which is like what we have, city band. Later on, Alvadati moved out to California in Los Angeles and played, uh, after he'd left the uh, uh, World War II, where he played in the Navy band, he went out to California and he became a member of the Long Beach, California Municipal Band, which is like what we are, municipal, a city band. So he played in city bands, and he was very familiar with New York and Los Angeles. He wrote this piece about the city on, on the Baja Peninsula, and he was uh, very much a person like the rest of us he, uh, in here. He taught music lessons, played in community bands, and uh, wrote some music. This was written for the town of Ensenada, and it's a very nice little overture. I didn't know it until our librarian found it, uh, Jeannie, and she gave it to me and says, maybe we can do this, and we did it, and it's a really nice little Spanish overture. It's an original composition written for band, which a municipal band, a city band, which we are. So I hope you enjoy Ensenada.
taking a bit of a departure from the Latin theme, I'm getting back to the United States and one of our favorite types of music that's traditionally ours is Dixieland. This one's called Dixieland. That actually was arranged by Michael Sweeney, who does a lot of uh, concert band adaptations. And it includes the following songs that you all should know. And they may be a little different style than what you're used to hearing these, because some of them are uh, gospel type hymns that are taking it a different tempo. Just a Closer Walk With Thee, Do You Know What It Means to Miss New Orleans, and The Sheik of Araby, with some other little things thrown in. Now, what we have in here is a Dixieland Quartet. Because a Dixieland group is usually a small group, but we have a large band, and we're featuring some of our players from here on clarinet, Anatoly Urovinsky. On trumpet, the immortal John Brenton. He told me that. Uh, on trombone, our chief vocalist and star spangled bangler, Richard Kirkman. And of course, on drum set, Irvin. And a tuba. You said you wouldn't have a solo, but we do. That's the tuba with Mr. James Frey. 